Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Will Smith and Queen Latifah are teaming up. They're going to be producing a movie that puts together Shakespeare and hip-hop, Romeo and Juliet. So it's going to be a hip-hop musical of Romeo and Juliet, and that's for Netflix. That's like Shakespeare's most famous work ever, so I'm sure you guys all want to see that. I love the, sh- the story of Romeo and Juliet, too. So it's I a can't musical? Wait to see. Yeah. Oh. A hip-hop musical. I'll okay. watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. I mean, listen, I, 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 Will Smith and Queen Latifah are cultural icons, and you know I'm a Pinkett Smith Winfrey Knowles Carter, so I would watch that. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how I'd be feeling about musicals a lot, though. I love musicals, only if they're well done. That's what I'm saying. They have I, to be I, well I, I, done. I, I, if it's well done, a musical is amazing. I, I don't really It's going to be a young waitress from Brooklyn who falls in love with an aspiring musician from a wealthy family. Yeah, see, I get annoyed. I'll be watching the waitress bring the food to the table, and then she just break out in the song. Like Alicia Keys, <laughs> remember? The whole restaurant does a dance routine. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> and the meal she ate definitely gave her diarrhea. <laughs> what meal was it? It was like... Well, the meal he ate, because it was like collard greens and yams and all kind of stuff. Mm. Coffee. Uh, I can't wait to see this iconic story remixed with the Montagues and the Capulets, Romeo and Juliet. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I took Shakespeare in college. I love, Uh, I, I read like every Shakespeare play. All right, now let's talk about Drake. He posted a picture of himself on social media, and people are trying to say he has fake abs. In particular, Carnage said, Carnage said, you got fake ab surgery in Colombia. You ain't fooling anybody. And he responded, in this cause, you are angry about the one thing that happened with that one person the other day that you thought was your wifey. And then Joe Button said, because he saw a doctor in Miami and didn't tell y'all. Hip-hop uh, weird stop now, hating. LOL. Take your ass to the gym, all of y'all that's uh, hating and complaining. <laughs> all right? Take your ass to the gym. Drink more water. Do some ab work. Cut carbs out your diet, and you too can have abs, sir. What'd you think? How did Drake look to you? Photoshop. <laughs> you hate him, man. So that's not hate, hate look. It's on like revolt. If you have revolt, nah, you can definitely, take a look. Definitely Photoshop. You hate him, man. You, photo- you can Photoshop abs on He wouldn't go to Dr. Miami, though. He'd go out of the country to get all get all that work done. Dude, you would hate him, oh, man. Oh, he would fly the doctor to him. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that makes more sense. Get it done right in the six. All right, now <laughs> let's talk about David <laughs> Letterman. Got six back in the six. <laughs> David Letterman's Netflix interview series, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, season two is coming out, and the first trailer is officially here, so you can see he's going to be with Lewis Hamilton, Tiffany Haddish, Melinda Gates, Ellen DeGeneres, Kanye West. Check it out. Please welcome our guest here tonight. When you're bipolar, you have a potential to ramp up and it could take you to a point where you start acting erratic, Mm -hmm. as TMZ would put it. Uh, (laughs) Were you ostracized in high school? No, we'd be on dates with our boyfriends and run into the bathroom and make out and go back to our boyfriends. Going to so many auditions, I've been told, too black, are you too light, are you too ghetto, are you not ghetto enough? (laughs) I've been rejected all my life. Okay. I watched those. I enjoyed David Letterman's conversations with people. Very uh, interesting. Last season was great. You had Howard Stern on there, Barack Obama, Hove. So I'll be tuned in for this one. Okay, now let's talk about Halle Berry. She was on the red carpet, right, getting ready for her new movie. And I guess her press people were trying to rush her along and rush her past the black press people. There were only two black press people on the carpet. And Emerald Marie TV actually recalls what happened while she was waiting to do the interview. Oftentimes, black reporters and black outlets are pushed to the end and unable to get the proper interview that they need. Well, Holly Berry interviewed with everybody. As she approached myself and the only, I was the only black woman on the carpet and there was only one black male. As soon as they got in front of Lamar and myself, her PR said that she had no time to speak to us. And they began to walk away. And she looked at me and she looked at Lamar and said, no, I can't skip my brother and my sister. That's dope. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you That's ha- dope. When, when you're an artist, uh, you know, a, a person like that, you have to be intentional about that because a lot of these PR firms don't know anything about our culture and they don't realize for whatever reason that hip-hop is pop culture. So we run the world, so they still run to all of these uh "Quote unquote white outlets because they think white ice is colder. So the the artists have to be intentional about saying no. I want to talk to Ball Alert. Uh, I want to talk to Shade Room. Uh, I want to talk to the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> well, I, I, I at least done that before when I was on vacation. My daughter seen her and she wouldn't take pictures with people. And she seen my daughter and was like, "Come on, I'll take a picture with you, sister." And took a picture with my daughter and I thought that was dope too. So shout to Holly Berry. So she didn't know she was Dominican. <laughs> That's what she, but I mean, still, we're all still brothers and we're, yeah, bl- we're all black and brown. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. My daughter's half black, half Puerto Rican. You know what? I'm to, not telling you. Oh, and, 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 and listen, so before I end it. She's what? Half what? 
My wife is Puerto Rican, Jamaican, and Chinese. What's wrong with you? You didn't say all that just now. You said your daughter's half black, half Dominican. Well, I, I, just admit it for once. Dominican never came out of my mouth. But you know what? Wow. You know what? You want me to be Dominican so bad. You are. I'm. I'm you guys. I'm, oh, I'm can sorry. I See. finish what I'm doing? And yes. the last thing yes. I have to say See, was mommy. Yes. Common's book is out. Let love have the last word. And he talks about to People Magazine about being in a breakup with Erica Badu that was so hard that he couldn't even eat. He said he was in a haze, just going through the motions. But he said he was in another breakup after that one that was heavy, and that was the one that sent him to therapy. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Happy Friday. See, mommy. All right. Uh, revolt. What? Hasta la go for two weeks. Y'all not coming here for two weeks. Damn. Dos, dos semanas. Wait a minute. Damn. Wait a minute. Revolt, y'all taking another break? Two weeks. Y'all two just weeks. came back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, Revolt. What is Diddy buying now? I don't know. Oh my God. So y'all going for two weeks. A gym for school. <laughs> he said a gym oh, for yeah, school. He's buying a school like Envy. Uh, but is, he probably, is he really? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that, is a, that, is a, that is a disgruntled Caucasian cameraman. Probably. Who is upset. Two weeks said, off, probably. That he's buying a gym, gym for, for school. school. First we learned uh, we're, we're getting extinct, and now... Oh, it's rough for you. Yeah, it's hard out like for a pimp. Steve, yeah. Steve like effort at this point. All right, sorry for you. I revolt. We'll see you guys in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. All right. Mix is up next. Oh, Steve, no, there's no mix. Steve, just wear your Trump 2020 shirt um, when y'all be back in two weeks. There right? is no mix. Uh, <laughs> Khaled is taking the mix, so we're going to play five Khaled songs. What do you mean Khaled is taking the mix? You know what happens when Khaled drops Drop an Drop one album. of Clues Bombs for iHeartRadio's own DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. His album is out right now. Album is dope so, what, so far from what I heard, and let's get on these five joints. All new hip-hop and R&B and DJ Khaled. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.